the seven names of Hashem. <clears throat> in relation to the Mimer that was published for this week's Pasha from Teir or Pasha's boy, in today's halacha we're going to discuss details of the seven divine names. There are seven names of Hashem that are forbidden to be erased and must be honored and respected. The list of these names is brought in the Gemara and Shavuos, Da'af, Lamed, Heyam, and Aleph, and is recorded in the Rambam, as well as in the Shulchan Aruch, in Yeridea, chapter 276, Halacha 9. The list of the names is as follows, with slight discrepancies between sources. Yudke Vavke, Adni, Kel, Eliko, Elikin, Elikai, Shakai with a Dalit, the name Tzvais, and the name Eya. In total, these are nine names, even though we said that there are only seven. The reason for this is, is because not all versions read that Elikai is one of the seven divine names that may not be erased. Likewise, the name Eya is not listed in all versions. So these seven names that we mention, these list of names that we mention, are forbidden to be mentioned in a bathroom, and are for, and we are careful not to write them down because it is forbidden to erase these names, and we fear that perhaps these names will end up and entering into an area that is unbefitting of them, such as a garbage and the like. And therefore, one must be very careful not to write Hashem's name without a dash, any of these names without a dash in between, if it is possible for the paper or the item to reach an un- unbefitting area. Regarding if one is allowed to recite Yud Ke Vav Ke with a He, such as saying Yud dash He dash Yud dash He, can one say that without the dashes? So it's brought in Paiskim that we are mocked to say Yud Ke Vav Ke and we do not say Hashem's name with a Yud and then afterwards a He. So is recorded in the name of the Arizal and Agad Mitzvah, recorded in the Ridbad Chsam Sefer, and other Paiskin. So not only don't we say the name of Yudke Vavke, but we don't even say the letters. Regarding the name Tzvais, as we've seen mentioned, we do, we are not mocked, we are not particular not to say Tzvais, and rather we do say it, even though there are some segments of jury that are particular to say Tzvakais, because Tzvais, they say is Hashem's name. The reason why the minig of the world is to say Tzvais and not Tzvakais is because the name Tzvayis alone is not Hashem's name, unless it is attached with Sivas Hashem, Tzvayis Havaya, as in the Torah itself, the name Tzvayis does not appear alone without one of the other one of Hashem's name. So is recorded by the Rebbe in a Mimer, in Tavshin Mem Gimel, in Isvadius Beis, page 850, as well as recorded in an answer, a response of the Shevet Halevi in volume 9, Response 217 to the Kenyan Torah that the minig is that we do say Tzvayt and we are not particular to say Tzvakais. Nevertheless, as mentioned, we should be careful not to write the name in on pieces of paper and the like that can end up entering into unbefitting areas. Regarding the name Eyes, so can one say the name Eyes? So the answer is that if one's intent is to say Hashem's name, then he may not say it. But if his intent is just to say it as part of a part of his Hebrew vocabulary, as Eya has other terminologies as well, then there is no problem in using that term. It's recorded in Achreinim, such as the Nesivus HaMishpat and the Aruch HaShulchan, that honoring and being careful with the use of Hashem's name brings bracha and blessing upon the Jewish people, while the opposite Chas Shalom causes Aniyas, causes poverty to the Jewish people. Thank <laughs> you.